Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Check out this cool little car we just got in. 1979 Volkswagen Beetle Convertible. Uh, man, we've been looking for one of these cars for years. Um, they just don't come up uh, very often in our, you know, the, you know, in our world of cars. I mean, I'm sure you could go and bring a trailer and stuff like that, you know, and find restored ones and so on and so forth. Uh, but they've even been going up in value like crazy. Um, this is a 79 little four speed convertible. Uh, it's in really good condition, you know, kind of a nice driver quality car. We'll kind of zoom in on all the, the flaws and stuff here in a minute, but uh, it runs and drives out really great. 1.6 liter, horizontally opposed air cooled engine uh you know flat four um, 48 horsepower 73 foot pounds of torque so not a lot of power but the car only weighs about 2100 pounds so so it's uh you know it's it's adequate it's 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 a fun cruiser around toy it's not a hot rod um but i mean actually people can soup these up and make it pretty quick but you know a convertible is all about the cruising experience but so it's just got this little car in and uh and so let's kind of zoom in and we'll kind of go around it and you know that's got lots of uh patina on it i think i'm gonna say this car has been repainted probably in the 80s be my guess uh some of the stunts they did you know where this would be chrome that would be chrome so they did some of that monochromatic uh luckily they didn't mess with the mirrors door handles were painted um i would probably if I were keeping the car for my car, I think I would take all that back to original chrome. But you can kind of do what you want to with this car. Like I said, it's it, it's a good car where it's great enough where you can just enjoy it and drive it like it is and not worry about dings or scratches. Or you could take and restore it and strip it down and, and make it really, really nice. Because it is a really good, solid car and mechanically excellent. So, um, so let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. So, like I said, over the hood, I mean, we got all kinds of little flaws, little bumps, little discoloration spots. I mean, I haven't, you know, I don't really want to do a paint correction on this car because I don't know how thick this paint is because it's thin in some areas. So we don't want to, you know, really try to buff it and then end up with some bald spots or anything like that. So, you know, it could use, you know, you could take and enjoy it like it is and touch it up and, uh, and everything or, you know, or redo it. I, like I said, I think it was repainted in the 80s. The interesting thing, though, is I think when they did it, um, they I think they must have really stripped this thing completely down because there's no there's no tape lines. You know, usually you see tape lines and stuff. And uh, so I think when they did do this car, I think they took it all the way down, took everything off of it, stripped it down. I don't think they masked anything off because I don't see any overspray. So, you know, is what it is. Just kind of giving you my two cents what I think I see and <laughs> my opinion you know which is sometimes it's just my opinion it could be right or it could be wrong uh, looking at the bumper there it's got some flaws in it and some discolorations and so on and so forth but but it is in good condition the rubber impact strip is a little bit wavy but it's nice we're not going to get into every little detail but these parts I mean, you can find everything for these cars so I would maybe you know just order some trim rings and caps and chrome i'm just talking personal preference uh right up here we got a little little bit of uh paint chips around the handle there and we'll open the frunk later when i go do after i get done with the exterior of the car but just something about those headlight rings and that red just bugs me <laughs> so anyway uh got a little scratch on the fender right there Looking across the hood, like I said, there's some kind of weird little splotchiness in the paint there. Little chips, little doinks, little, you know, that sort of thing. Like I said, it's a really good little driver. Manual antenna. Windshield is decent. There are a few little pits in it, little nips, but no, no cracks, little wiper mark right there. But it is serviceable. There's our driver's side mirror has a really cool looking wheel on it. I don't know what this is, but I really like it. It's kind of like a Volkswagen version of a Porsche Fuchs. Um, I really like it. Uh, I can't find a date code on the tires. Um, they, uh, they feel eh, moderately soft. They're not, I'm not gonna say they're super soft, but they're not rock hard either. 
They have good tread in them. Again, I'm gonna just kind of express some of my personal opinion on this. These are a 205 6015. I think that's too wide for this car and too wide for this wheel. And uh, so what I would do is put some, give it more of the vintage look, because I love the wheel, but I would put a 185 70 15 on it. That's gonna keep the same diameter. And I checked the speedometer and the, actually the speedometer's reading dead on as far as mile per hour go. So the diameter is correct, but I just think that, tires too fat for that rim and too fat for the car that just you know it just i mean the beetle is just you know, I don't know the little tires almost give it kind of more character and charm so again some opinion there just kind of sharing with you my thoughts and cars come in and you know everybody has different opinion what they might do with it but sometimes i like to share my my thoughts and ideas and opinions on it depending on how long they keep the car sometimes those ideas come into play so looking down the door and this is a really solid car too, rust-free car. It's a little bit of a, right here, just a tiny little, little doink. It's, it doesn't really, you can, I wouldn't mess with it at all. You could push it out. But uh, anyway, here's the rear wheel and the tire. And it drives down the road. It doesn't shake at all. It doesn't pull. It doesn't do anything. So, um, you know, it really goes 70 mile an hour down the road, no problems. Here's our tail lights in really good condition. Very rust free car. I'll kind of give you some shots of the underbody once we do the overall walk around. Rear bumper in good condition. Impact strip is decent. There's some little bit of weathering checking to it. Uh, I don't know what this exhaust is, but it sounds fantastic. <laughs> You'll hear it in the driving video. Uh, this little tag. Light has been kind of cheesily repainted for whatever reason. Car originally was fuel injected. It is carbureted now. All right, got the engine bay open here. So somebody did switch it to carburetor. I'm pretty certain this motor's probably been rebuilt. Um, uh, the car's showing, uh, let me look here again. 90,000 miles. That's what it's showing on the odometer there. And if I were to speculate, I would say that that would probably be correct on the mileage. A uh, little bit of oil. I think it's coming from the tube here or something, or somebody spilled it. But it's not leaking anything underneath anything, but there is some wetness right around here. It's got a little carburetor on it that works perfect. Still got our little stickers in the, in the lid but it does run perfect there. All right, looking at the right tail light, looks good, a little fading around the trim ring. Here's our right rear wheel. Wheels are in really good shape. I totally dig these wheels. If anybody knows what these are, let me know. That is cool. I've never seen them before. Looking down the side, it is clean down the side. Little Carmen badge there. A little scratch on the door. You kind of see it going up the door. Just kind of a light scratch. Pretty minor. Running boards are in good condition. Fenders, good. Let me go ahead and open the frunk for you. All right, got the lid opened up here. Got our big high-tech fancy prop rod. <laughs> Just leaving that in there, but everything looks in good condition under here No, I don't see any collision damage. No rust There's our data plate there Looking across the nose there looks really nice and Tank all looks good Take a look at the interior. All right, let's take a look at the interior here. I love what they did in here. So we kind of got a combination of black and tan. I'm guessing these seats were probably black originally, but I really like what they did here. It's kind of a, uh, a tweed type of material. It has a real nice feel to it. I think the color is nice, really cool in the summertime. You know, and it's not gonna be jumping in on some black vinyl seats and burn your britches, you know? 
And uh, the, the, so this looks, the interior looks new, the seat coverings for sure. They look pretty much pretty fresh. And so is the top, we'll do the top last there, put it up and give you a full view of the top. But here's the headliner anyway. Um, the top has all been replaced. It's in like new condition. Here's our panels. So let me go ahead and slide in here a little bit. <laughs> so the clock actually works. It's amazing. There we got 90,000 miles. The gas gauge is in op. I don't even see the needle, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I'm guessing it's probably dropped all the way down. So got an aftermarket radio here. And then they put, I think they put a little speaker right there under the dash. Did they put two of them? No, it looks like just the one there. <laughs> so kind of just a single speaker. Uh, actually, this wood applique, I'm pretty sure is original. Uh, they did a lot of that in the late 70s, early 80s on these cars. A little dress up, you know, trying to make them look a little dressier. But I think it looks kind of cool. I kind of dig it, especially because it ties into the interior, you know. I think it's kind of cool. There's our badge there, Carmen badge. Steering wheel is in good condition. Not a lot of wear on it. Horn does not work. Visors, see here's our visors. This one right here, this one's kind of broken. I kind of got it up there, but it's kind of pulled out of its shaft right here. I tried to slide it on, but I can't get it to slide in all the way. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I'm sure they make reproductions of these, no problem. Here is the dash, couple of little cracks along the dash. Nothing major, you know, kind of a semi-survivor car, really. Here's our data plate right there, and I'll show you the other one in the door. So we got a little Bluetooth stereo. Here's our shifter. See, look, really not even much wear on the shifter. Just a little bit of color wear on, on the top. And the shifting is great, by the way. Uh, clutch, shifting, synchros, doesn't grind or anything between the gears. Here's our pedals. Carpets are in good shape. I've been driving it. So they're a little bit, me and the wife was riding around in it today. So <laughs> we got a few footprints in it. Passenger door panel is good. A little scratch on the door right there. So it looks to me like, so something I noticed here. Um, so it looks like this car was originally kind of a blue green. So like I said, they stripped it completely down and made it a red car. But uh, what's kind of cool is it looks great in red. Um, you know, in the jams and everything. I mean, they, like I said, they stripped this thing down. So it's not like you open the damn jam and you open the jam and see a different color. So you could run this car as red, you know, or it would actually look super cool in the original color. Um, but look, they did a great job though. I mean, it's, it's a, almost a full color change. If you dig in some tight places like under the dash, you know, you'll see, you know, you can kind of see where they're, uh, you know, you see some of the original color, but they went through a lot of effort to do a color change. So do what you think. Doors close nice. All the windows work good. All the regulators are good and everything. So let's take a little tour. Let's take a peek underneath this guy. See, look at this. It is really nice under here. I mean, that's what's really amazing about this car and really important is how rust-free this car is. Look at that pan. Yeah, it does a pretty good job of showing under the car with the, phone, with the light on. All right, take a peek under the back. A little bit of oil leak there. I'll fire this thing up for you too and we'll do a little, let you hear the exhaust from the outside. So there is a little bit of an oil leak. <laughs> about 30 minutes to drop the motor out. <laughs> it's about all it takes, four bolts. Look at that pan. Super nice. 
me go ahead and fire this up for you. Just kind of let you hear how this little guy starts. Starts up cold, hot. Starts up fantastic every time. top up as you can see this top is in pristine condition there's our windows rolled up there kind of cute with a little chrome and what's nice about this here too is we do have a heated back glass I don't know if it works or not can't really test it in the summertime but it does have a glass back window which I really like a little dusty I don't really clean this car up much but there is the top and she is nice. All right, now for the best part of the video, let's go take this thing for a spin. All right, Miss Becky and I are strapped into the Beetle. You ready to take this thing for a spin? Yeah, let's do here it. Here we go, here we go. Love the sound of that little guy. We've got a beautiful day out here today. A little overcast, but that's perfect. Temperature's about 70 degrees, so. Here we go. So I got kind of a funny story about this car. So somebody uh, messaged uh, me on the website and they said, uh, looking for a Volkswagen thing or a Beetle convertible. And uh, you know, it's kind of like, well, don't come across those very often, you know? And uh, I said, ah, but you know, cause I get a lot of messages, people requesting cars, but you know, this isn't just request a car then kind of order it up and get it in i mean these classic cars i mean you kind of find them when you find them or they find you or whatever and uh but <laughs> lo and behold he messages me and then literally the very next day we buy this car <laughs> so <laughs> i mean talk about uh, crazy timing but uh, so we got this car in from oklahoma and had it shipped in and then i messaged the customer that, you know the car's not 100 percent ready right now but i'm doing the video because i told the customer that hey we bought the car and i sent him pictures of the car and uh and he's buying the car so i want to go ahead and you know get a video of it just because it's such a fun cool car and want to kind of share the car with you guys and, and everything but so driving the car around um I, I couldn't be happier when the car came in on the transport uh, you know, just hit the key and it just fired right up. Perfect idle, right off the, right out of the box. I was like, oh man, because I, I honestly, you know, when I'm buying these cars, kind of sight unseen off of some of my dealer wholesale networks, usually they come in with plenty of surprises. And uh, so, you know, and I kind of expect that a little bit, but I jumped in this thing when they loaded off the transport, went around the block, and I was just, I couldn't be happier with the car. Um, everything's great. The uh, clutch, the transmission, the engine, um, it's all really good. It's kind of cool if you can look down here and see. It's got an aftermarket radio in it, um, and uh, it's all that, that's all the original, you know, kind of wood grain trim, you know, from the car or whatever. So it's really cool. I love our little shifter down here. Check out the shifter back. That little shifter knob. I love that uh, little knob there. The wood grain on the dash. Super cool. It's only got 90,000 miles on it. Little Wolfsburg emblems on it. Aftermarket radio that kind of works. Uh, so that'll, <laughs> found this in the uh, underneath the seat. Kind of cute. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, you know, just it's just such a great little car. The, uh, so it does need a, a few things. The gas gauge needle, uh, I don't even see the needle, so I don't know if it's just dropped all the way to the bottom or broken or whatnot, but the uh, the crazy thing is, is the clock actually works and keeps time. I mean, go figure that. Uh, it, somebody put a, uh, some speakers and a radio in it, which is really nice. Um, things that it, uh, that it needs, 
the uh, the brake master cylinder feels a little bit weak. Um, you know, so when you first hit it after a while, it kind of goes a little long to the floor. Then the second time you hit it or pump it, then it, it's a little harder pedal. So, so the brake master cylinder feels a little bit weak. Love the sound. Listen to this.
so much fun. It just, and when you fire up the car, I mean, there's not a puff of smoke out of the car. I mean, you get these old cars in, I mean, it's really hard to know what's been done. I mean, originally this car was fuel injected. It's got a carburetor on it now. So, hmm. I mean, I'm guessing probably the motor's probably been rebuilt once at least, yeah, I would probably. guess. Just the way that it runs so yeah, perfect. I mean, it I mean, it doesn't even shake or anything. No, like, it's perfectly smooth. It's perfectly smooth. Not I mean, at all what I expected. If it had a cylinder that was weak on compression or something, it would shake. But, right. I mean, this thing just... Yeah, it's dead smooth. I mean, it is absolutely perfectly smooth. I love that dash. I love that fake wood grain. That's so yeah, 70s. Pretty 70s. Uh, we, should, we needed this last night at the little uh, drive-in movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Outran by a Kia minivan. Yeah, you know, it's... Who cares? Right. They're not having as much fun as we are. That's for sure. And when you put the side windows up, I mean, it's really not buffety. And yeah. I mean, you can probably tell by the video. I mean, it's hopefully, I don't think there's probably too much wind noise. And Becky and I can hear each other pretty well. So it's really cool. And the heater works good too because. When I was driving home the other night, it was uh, a little, got a little bit chilly by the time it dark dark out, and uh, so I just yanked on both levers, and man, I was getting tons of heat on the floor. But yeah, it just uh, like I said, it needs a, a few little things, but uh, but definitely a good solid car.